All right, let me show you guys how to create a new online account using Bitwarden. So when you get to a sign up page like this for Walmart or any website you're trying to sign up, first thing most people do is they start to fill out the information right here, but you do not want to do that first. What you want to do first is go to the plugin itself, the Bitwarden plugin. And since there's no login, you'll get this added login here, but I like to press the plus button because it does the exact same thing at the top right. Then you start to fill you fill out the information here uh, before you do anything on the actual web page. Since this particular website doesn't use a username, you have to use a little bit of logic here. The real username will be the email address. So that is what I'm going to enter. But if it had a username, you would fill out the username, so on and so forth. Whatever is required for logging in. Uh, then for the password beauty of a password manager it generates something strong and unique for you so with bitwarden what you do is you press these rotating arrows that's your password generator and you use whatever you generate whatever password that the website is happy with and you can adjust the, the length right here so i'm going to do 12. you can do your uppercase lowercase and numbers and if the uh, website requires it, you can also have special characters in there too. And you also have extra settings for minimum numbers, the minimum special. And you can avoid ambiguous characters. That is to avoid characters like zeros and O's because they look the same. It makes it a little bit easier if you, if you ever have to manually type in. So I always keep that one checked. And if you're happy with it, you press the select button at the top right of the plugin. Since we are already on the page itself, it's already filled out the URI or URL, however you want to say it which is fine. The main part is the walmart.com. That is what's going to base it off of. You can put it in a folder. You can favorite it. The notes section is if you have security questions, you can put them there. And custom field, you can leave it out. It just makes it a little bit more prettier uh, if you want to do it. I usually put everything in the notes section. And when you're happy with it, you press the save button at the top right of the plugin. All right, then it's been created right there. Then what you want to do is actually press the name of it right as it's shown right there and that will autofill and you can fill in your first name and last name but if you created the identity link in the description down below that we did in the last video you can just press your name underneath identities and it'll fill that in for you so you don't have to type it and you just create an account and that's how you create a new website or a new web account underneath Bitwarden hope you enjoyed